Hi, I'm Caitlin. I'm Linda. And today we're going to be looking at a new wine, um, the Boiling Point by Cloud Elixirs. This is a new company based out of Edmonton and they dropped off some samples for us um, a couple weeks ago actually and it's just taken us a little bit of time to get to them. But we're really excited to try these today. We have five flavors um, and because we missed the last two weeks reviews, we're gonna do all of them today. So um, I Head guess we'll get going. <laughs> So the first one that we're doing today is called Don Cherry, and it's called Don Cherry, any of you Canadians who watch Hockey Night in Canada, because Don Cherry's nickname is Grapes, and this one tastes like grapes with a hint of mint. Excellent. I like the name. So as usual, I'm going to do this on my Snow Wolf. I'm running that about 80 watts on the Dark Horse RDA and I've got some really nice new Clapton's in there with fresh cotton. And I am on my Smoke X Pro M80 Plus with my Velocity and I have some dual Clapton's in there that are only out at 0.26 and I'm just under 60 watts. I don't like mint with fruit. It's very sweet. It's very grapey. It's very minty. You, this is more your niche than mine. I do like mint with just about anything. Um, try turning that up, actually. I I like the sweetness of the grape, but I don't dig the mint. So, at 80 watts. I'm getting a lot of mint and a very little bit of grape. Um, when I turn that up to about 100 watts, I get more grape out of that and the mint kind of tones down a little bit. The grape is very sweet and I'm not a huge fan of super sweet flavors, so the mint really helps to tone the sweetness down for me. And I think about 100 watts, I'm probably getting a really nice combination of both mint and grape. That's a good point for me, actually. Um, I cheated a little bit, Caitlin. I did throw this in a tank um, and try it because I was really excited to try the grape with a hint of mint. Um, in the tank, I found it was very sweet and very great with a very hint of mint, a very mild hint of mint in there. So for me, probably better in a tank than on a drip mm -hmm. because I'm not a fan of the mint. Yeah, and I threw that in my Vixen tank. So I was running that with the G Clapton's probably at about 45 watts, I think. And so, um, so lower watts. that was what I did. In the tank, I felt like it was pretty sweet. Although in the dripper, I'm finding that at 100 watts is kind of a good place yeah. for me. If you actually take your watts week down, like you said, around in between 40 and 50, like I'm about midway between 40 and 50, I get a lot less mint. Mm -hmm. Is it very sweet? It is a lot sweeter and a lot grapier, and I like it better at lower watts. Okay. I don't like it so much at the high watts. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. that's not too bad. So overall, I think um, for me, Dawn Cherry is a thumbs up. That's a good one for me. I'm gonna go middle, <laughs> middle. I like that you can change the flavor of it to going from really grapey to really minty and then a nice midway point at about 100 watts and I don't mind at 100 watts. So. Yeah, it's a multi-dimensional flavor. So if you like mm -hmm. more mint, take it up hotter. If you like less mint, make it a little cooler. I like the cool of eight. Not quite that cool. Mm -hmm. But for people running tanks that, that don't like a lot of mint, they're probably going to like the grapeiness of this. Yeah. Yeah, that was a good so, one. Uh, the next one that we're going to do is Obsidian Crumbler, and that is a blackberry pomegranate. 
Okay, so we just had to do a quick switch out of our cotton and we are back with the Obsidian Crumbler uh, Blackberry Pomegranate flavor from Boiling Point. And... Oh, that's good! That's real good. I'm going to crank my water here. I'm a bigger cloud of that. That is spot on to gummy candy, like pen candy. Yes. Like those dark berry, berry gummies. Like yes. exactly like that. It mm -hmm. smells like a cherry blaster, but it tastes like those dark. Like those five cent gummy candies that you can buy. Mm-hmm. That could be in my top 10 favorite flavors easy in like the high top 10 yeah like maybe number that's four. a it's a really nice flavor it's kind of a strong flavor um i'm really interested to throw that in a tank and see how well it does i don't usually pomegranate um liquids are usually not very nice at higher temperatures at higher wattages it usually tastes burnt to me, but this doesn't. I really get the the blackberry pomegranate in there. It's a really nice mix. I'm gonna crank and it up higher than even I at, ever crank it. Even at higher wattages, it doesn't seem to burn the flavor or... No, I'm up to like 70 and I don't like anything at 70. And I like this. It's yeah, not a dimensional flavor. It's very like one dimensional. Yeah. You're not gonna get like anything different on the inhale versus the no. exhale. It's just one flavor. Don't and taste it's the delicious. blackberry and the pomegranate separately. No. It is blackberry pomegranate definitely together. Um, I would say not an all day vape for me just because like it's I wouldn't eat those candies you. all yeah. day long. I would. I but have a sweet tooth. I really love it and for those times when you're really when I'm really craving something sweet candy. and just yeah absolutely this is all the it. goodness of a gummy candy without it getting stuck in your teeth yes <laughs> yeah it's a really nice flavor and I have to say too we're doing these at three milligrams of nicotine um the nicotine is really smooth in these, very smooth in these liquids like, um, I would almost guess that there was no nicotine in here from the from the throat from the hit. hit. Yeah, there's like no tickle in my throat. No, there, it's just yeah. And <laughs> and like I said before, I did throw the Don Cherry in a tank one day, and I vaped that tank. Um, I didn't have an irritation from the nicotine or anything like that. It's a really smooth. Um, it's a really smooth vape. It's just a nice quality nicotine. So I really enjoy that. Um, Obsidian Crumbler, I think definitely um, I would buy. I would definitely vape that. I would vape this all day. That's like a, nice a bottle in a day. Yeah. <laughs> I never vape a bottle in a day. That's a nice one. Um, these will be available at the shop at Vape It in Goodsbury. We're located at... Um, 2034 19th Avenue in Didsbury, Unit 203. In the Victoria um, Square Mall. Yeah. <laughs> right now, these will be available by order, and they're about $21.99 is um, the price on those bottles. And so this is definitely a premium e juice. Mm -hmm. It tastes so good. We will be bringing <laughs> in some of the flavors. Uh, over the next few weeks just to try them out. Um, they're definitely available for anybody to taste at the shop um, and for order. We've been bringing in just a few extra bottles on most of our orders just for sale on the, lately. And the popular ones, like Bigfoot got really popular so you yeah. brought in some extra Bigfoot instead of having to do them to order. Yeah. So. Yeah, and we've been bringing in some new flavors like the gummy we brought in and, you know, just and a few the new flavors. we're so. really excited about. We will be reviewing that next, next week. week. Yes. Pancake Man review to come. All right, so the next one we're going to do is Ishigo. 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 That's a strawberry milk flavor, and we'll be back with that in a moment. All right, 
Um, so we just took a quick break and changed out our cotton and um, now we're doing the Ishigo and that was the strawberry milk flavor by the boiling point. I'm excited about this because we tried milk man. You should try milk man. And if this is close to milk man, we're gonna be rolling in it. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna turn this one down a little bit to about 60 watts just to start with because I sort of feel like if it's a milk flavor I should. It's pretty good. But it's not too bad actually. It's very milky with just a hint of strawberry. It's refreshing. It's like drinking a cold glass of strawberry quick. Yes. Yeah, it is more milky than it is strawberry. I mm -hmm. think the strawberry is pretty subtle in there. Yeah, sure. which I like because sometimes strawberry vapes get that weird chemically strawberry taste. Mm -hmm. This one's pretty smooth. Yeah, it is. That one's not too bad. <clears throat> I think not my favorite one that we've tried so far out of the three. But you're not so much into the creamy stuff sometimes. I think I would like to taste the strawberry a little bit more. I think oh, that's see, it. See, not me. I don't know. <laughs> so different. And that's the tricky thing about juice reviews because everybody has different preferences and taste oh. is really subjective. subjective. And that's why so. we do these together mm -hmm. so that we can have different opinions. Absolutely. Because what I like, sometimes Linda doesn't like. I think Linda, like sometimes I don't like and sometimes we're right on the money like we were with the obsidian crumbler mm -hmm. yeah and I think that was one of the things that we knew when we first talked about doing reviews together is that our tastes are so different in some aspects but very similar at the same time so yeah, like it's I'm more all about the cinnamon sugar stuff. I like the yeah. spicy stuff, whereas you're more to the fruity side, but I enjoy the fruits. I do like the cinnamon ones though yeah. too. I've been vaping them a lot more lately, actually. Have you tried Cheerios? Cheerios? It's churro, like cinnamon sugar churro. It's so. very similar to Bigfoot but amped up a bit. I Anyways, we, we, we are we getting should. off topic. We should try. <laughs> We've got some numbers. When I turn that down a little bit, like down to 50, I do pick up a little bit more of the sweetness from the strawberry. Yeah. And that makes it like almost perfect for me. Definitely one to to vape on for a little bit, I think, and I it think is, that could be an all-day vape, actually. It's definitely one of the more multi-dimensional ones, too, mm -hmm. and I, I do like that. I like where I pick up different things at different temperatures, and on the inhale and on the exhale, I like that um, diversity throughout the vaping experience. Yeah, no, <laughs> I do, too. That's, I like when I can change things up, for sure, just by changing the the temperature so. like the dawn cherry i love that i could change that up a little bit still not a fan still not a fan of the dawn cherry but i like the man i don't like the juice i think overall this one could definitely be an all-day vape definitely at a lower lower wattage for me but i think um yeah it's and not i like too that bad of a flavor i just want to taste the milk yeah <laughs> I like I like a little bit of sweetness from it. Not overly sweet. It's still a really mild strawberry. <coughs> we'll be talking Don't about that to later. Drip. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, the next one that we are going on to is Scamp Sauce, and this one I'm excited about because it is a dragon fruit custard. So we will be right back after a cotton change. All right, 
So we are on to scamp sauce. And this one I have been super excited for and I've been waiting through this whole day so that we could do the dragon fruit custard. Mm -hmm. I love custard and I love dragon fruit. The custards are touch and go for me. I really like some but it depends on the brand. So let's see how well these guys do there. It smells nice and sweet. I like it. I don't think I like it as much as the obsidian crumbler. That's still number one for me, but this is nice. It's getting baby in here. <laughs> so in here. <laughs> I saw this um <clears throat> like air purifier for vaping so it like sucks all the vapor right into it and cleans it completely out of the air. But then you can't do tricks. I know. <laughs> but it stops your room from fogging up. That's another one that I really like at lower temperatures. This one up high was tasting kind of burnt, like around 80, and it's tasting kind of burnt for me, but down around 60 is much better. I kind of like that caramelized custard taste though. Yeah, this was just tasting burnt to me. Like, uh, to nice, me, this is like if you put dragon fruit into a creme brulee, because it does have that subtle burnt undertone, even at low temps there's still that subtle burnt undertone, that caramelized sugar topping. I, I The dragon fruit is nice, it's not overly sweet. <clears throat> no, it's very mellow. Yeah. It's nice and smooth, it blends nicely with the custard, and um, <coughs> up with my lungs today. It's like the sun is <laughs> peeking out. <laughs> oh, we'll have to fix that. You're an angel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's perfect. All in all, I think that's a really nice one. I'm an angel now too. It was. <laughs> Holy, the sun is shining. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's close the blinds. There we go. That's actually pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> much better. All right. That's how much we like the dragon fruit custard. Oh. <laughs> that's a really nice one. I think that's a good all day bake. It's not too sweet and it's got a nice blend, so it's not. It doesn't have that, like, um, I don't even know how to, what to call it, but it doesn't have, like, a really horrible custard kind of taste. The custard no. is nice in it. It's like, just creamy, smooth. Some people who nice. aren't fans of custard, because of that really custard taste, I don't know how else to explain it. <clears throat> Chemically? Yeah, they'll probably mm -hmm. still like this. Yeah, this it's one a, is still pretty nice. It's a mellow. The dragon fruit is a good combination with the custard. It's giving me some ideas for making desserts at home. <laughs> nice. All right, I think that's a pretty. Yeah, I'm gonna do one more. That one's not too bad. It's really mellow. I'm not picking up like huge flavor out of this one. It's definitely a more mellow kind of flavor. Um, it's just the right amount of fruit and cream. That's mm -hmm. what it is. It's a nice balance between fruit and cream. Yeah. Very balanced bait. Nothing is outshining the other. Yeah, for sure. Whoever mixed this up and figured out proportions did a good job. Mm -hmm. They should get a raise, boiling point. Yes. <laughs> and right. actually, um, they're guy that comes up with their flavors um, was a chef. That makes a lot of sense to me. Bef yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. 
because it's very well rounded. Yeah. Nice. Nice. All right. Uh, the next one we're going to do is the last one for boiling point. It is lemon squeezy, and it is another custard mm -hmm. with lemon and graham. So that I'm excited for that. All right, we'll just take a minute and change out our cotton, and then we'll be back. All right, so fresh cotton again, and we're on to lemon squeezy, lemon graham custard. All right, I'm nervous about this one. <clears throat> I am too. I don't like citrus um, vapes too much. All I smell is lemon. It irritates me. They hurt my teeth usually. All I smell is lemon. Let's go. Okay. Very heavy on the custard. What are you leaving? Okay, I've got mine at 75. Mm -hmm. Let me turn mine down. I had mine at 70. Maybe that's why I didn't like that first. Mm. I think it has that, um, like, <clears throat> it's very lemon hard. filling taste. Like, not real lemon. It's not citrusy, it's like lemon filling taste. Like Sheriff. Yeah. Okay, here's my issue with it. My issue with it is not the flavor. Okay. It's the throat hit. It's a little harsh. It's a very harsh, which could mm -hmm. be from the citrus. I find it to be a harsh throat hit. Yeah, it's a little harsh. Um, I'm sort of disappointed with this one, actually. Um, the other four flavors were really smooth and really nice and you didn't, you couldn't even really tell that there was nicotine or anything. And so this one having that, um, roughness almost, that harsh, I don't like it. No, I'm not a fan either. Which, you know what, maybe we just aren't lemon custard people because we didn't like the cactus lemon custard either. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of at 75 watts. I'm kind of picking up burnt gram. I'm all the way down to 55, which should be a nice cool vape, and it's still harsh. Okay, down to 50 watts. Maybe not quite so burnt gram taste. So, um, but yeah, it's still got that. <clears throat> tickle. Yeah. A tickle in your throat. Um, and it still has, you know, the lemon isn't better for me. And even I'm all the way down to 45 and it's still leaving me burning. And it's only 3 milligrams of nicotine. So it shouldn't be that burning. Yeah. And it's not like a nicotine kind of burn though. Like, even with the other four flavors, we couldn't tell that there was nicotine in it. Yeah, the, the quality of nicotine in Boiling Point is good it's quality good, yeah, nicotine. For sure. It's not the nicotine that's causing the harshness. No. I think it's the lemon. I think it's the lemon. I think you're right. Um, I'm going to say personally, that's a thumbs down for me. Um, the line in itself is really nice. Yes. That's not my favorite flavor. Some people might really like that. It's not my favorite flavor. For me, for this line, I'm three out of five. The Obsidian Crumble. Mm -hmm. The Ishigo. <laughs> I can't pronounce it, but it's my favorite. Mm -hmm. And the Scamp Sauce, I really, really like. Thumbs up for all three. And the I'll Don Cherry, I give a middle. Mm -hmm. I, I I would vape it again, but it wouldn't be my first choice. Mm -hmm. And then, and I would say the Dawn Cherry, the Obsidian Crumble, the Ishigo, definitely uh, yes for me. The Scamp Sauce, the Dragon Fruit Custard. Um, no, that was a yes for me too. I think yeah, that was um, the uh, nice balance between the dragon fruit and the custard. That's, mm -hmm. that's the one where you can really tell that the guy who came up with the flavor profile is a professional chef. Yeah, yeah, that was a nice one. I think just the just the lemon squeezy was a no go for me. I probably 
wouldn't buy that one. I think it's a great flavor for some people that, you know, somebody would probably really love it. Definitely not me. So that's my, that's my take on the, the boiling point. Overall, nice flavor. Um, the nicotine is very smooth. Yeah. The flavors all seem to be very smooth. Um, even the mint in the Dawn Cherry is not an overpowering, like harsh kind of mint like some of them. I, I know it was a little bit more minty than you would prefer, but the flavor of the mint was a nice mint. It wasn't overpowering and like here's why harsh I, in the throat. Here's why I can't judge the Dawn Cherry. Mm -hmm. Because I like grape mm -hmm. and I like mint. Mm -hmm. I don't like grape mixed with anything and I don't like mint mixed mm -hmm. with anything. If I'm going to have mint, I just want mint. Yeah. Maybe I have tried one cucumber mint and that was okay mm -hmm. because the, the cucumber was very muted. Mm -hmm. So I think my issue with the Dawn Cherry it's is just mix. personal preference. Yeah. I don't like my mint mixed with fruit. Yeah. So that's not to say that everyone else should feel the same way. Mm -hmm. No, <laughs> absolutely. So I think, I think overall a pretty good line. I give this line the line in its entirety, two thumbs up. I like the quality of the nicotine. Mm -hmm. I like the quality of the flavor in most of the juices. And I think that they're really well put together. The flavor profiles are really well put together, except for one. Mm -hmm. But again, that could just be a personal preference. All so, right. Yeah. So we're going to give it a thumbs up. All right. We haven't used those very much today. I know. Okay, so I do have one more thing that I would just like to talk about at the end of our video here. I recently did a cloud competition online um, on a Facebook page called Cloud Rippers, and that's run by Aaron Gillis and uh, Troy Lanes and Brad Harper, and there's a bunch of admins on there. All great guys, and I won the contest, well, uh, second or third, I think in one of these contests. So, Troy Lanes was nice enough to hook me up with some semi-local juice. They're based out of Calgary. It is Foggy Gorilla. Mm. They and also have a shop in Airdrie. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. And uh, the flavor that he sent me was Guapo, and it is a strawberry lemonade. And I've been vaping on this since I got it the other day, and I think it's just dynamite. It's nice and smooth and you pick up the strawberry and you pick up the lemon and it goes well together. I think the guys at Foggy Gorilla know what they're doing and uh, this is a great vape. I didn't change out my cotton for that one. And the battery's getting kind of low so my watch just dropped. It's nice and smooth and no throat hit and it's just, it's good. I like it. Yeah, I've never tried that flavor actually, but that's not too bad at all. And that is also a three milligram nicotine. And again, good quality nicotine. That's really important to me. I want to taste my nicotine. <laughs> I just. <laughs> I don't want it. I don't want it to burn. I just want it to make me not smoke cigarettes. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> yeah, thank you very much to Troy Lanes and Aaron Gillis and the guys uh, at Cloud Ripper on Facebook. You should definitely give the page a like if you're into vaping. It's good stuff. Exclamation point. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right, that's our reviews for this week. Um, Sorry it got a little long. <laughs> yeah, we didn't break this one down into separate videos. We're just going to throw the whole thing on there. And um, so we apologize for the length. We'll try and keep the next ones a little bit shorter. But we did want to get through the whole line today just because we've missed the last two weeks of our reviews. We will be back next week with a new flavor for you guys. Pancake Man! I think we'll do the Pancake Man. And maybe if we have some time, we'll throw in the Resto Mods. Okay. There's three flavors on that one. And so if we have some time, maybe we'll we'll do the Pancake Man and the Resto Mods. We'll see you next week. All right.